Feelings of isolation often blind us to the community support that surrounds us. And sometimes all you have to do is ask. Let me tell you a great instance is um, dad I know has an older son, teenager, late teens, still loves to trick or treat. His son loves to trick or treat, but the reception he gets when he goes trick or treating with his son is not always the best. So he thought a very simple thought. Let me reach out to this local senior development, not gated, about 180 homes. And he knew someone that lived there and reached out and said, hey, let's create a night for 14 and up for individuals with autism to dress up and trick or treat. And I would say a good 60% of the homes signed up. We tied a ribbon on every mailbox that agreed to it, had a little map. They had a little party in the clubhouse and our adults with autism, 14 and up, trick-or-treated, and they went to, I don't know how many homes, and the residents were so happy to have our, our kids there. And we had people from group homes trick-or-treating and people who drove themselves trick-or-treating and everybody in, in between. It was amazing. The love and support of these guys walked away with bags full of candy. And this has been going on for years now. It's an ongoing event. And it was just one parent reaching out to somebody say, hey, can we do something for my kid, you know, that he loves? So sometimes that's all it takes. Um, so please like, comment, and follow for more autism tips. We love having you guys out there. Thank you guys. God bless.